We will be incorporating hot reload through the video series. And that's why I have made a boilerplate that could contains hot reload code. Each and every other time we start a new episode, all we have to do is load in the boilerplate and get going. So if you know nothing about hot reload, I would advise you to check the video that I've made on the same. The link is in the video description below so that you can follow along comfortably throughout the tutorial series. So first things first, you need to create a folder, navigate to that folder and open that folder with the code editor of your choice. So next, we're going to clone that GitHub repository that code contains the boilerplate. So I'll say git. So let me explain the contents of the file. Oh, sorry. So let me explain the contents of the boilerplate. So we have a .txt file that contains the library and modules that we're going to be needing for this episode and the rest of the episodes basically. The main.py contains um, the whole reload code, okay? I've explained this in the video. And then the app folder or the app directory contains a .kv file and a .py file that are going to contain the code and the GUI instructions for our UI. Next, we're going to have to create a virtual environment, activate it, and install the library and modules in our .txt file. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. So see Python, M, sorry, Python, M, and the name of a virtual environment, I just call it tools, why not? So a virtual environment will be created, I do not, and then we'll say source. So to activate the virtual environment, I will say source tools, then activate. And the virtual environment is activated. Next, we're going to install the Kaki library and the KV and KVMD modules, because those are the modules and the library that we're going to be using. So I will say pip install. Because you will from the request to txt. Just like that, um, we have Kaki, KV, and KVMD installed, plus other packages that KV and KVMD and Kaki depend on. So let's run this code to ensure that everything is running as it should. So, how do you run code through Hot Reload Channel? So, you see the bug. So we have an error with our window. Window is not defined. Sorry. But I have window. Oh. My bad. I'll save that. We run the code again. So once we run the code like this, um, we don't have to uh, close the key VMD window and rerun our code each and every other time we make changes. So all we need to do is just save our code and bam on the fly, we see the changes. Um, I will open the main.py file and also the .kv file. In the main.py file, we have an entry, uh, an entry point class uh, that inherits from the empty screen class. This is going to be our root we get, and the same is defined in the .kv file. Okay, let's see exactly how to add a toolbar into our UI. So, so first thing first, I will add a box layout. And the real reason why I'm adding a box layout is because I want my elements, I want nested elements to be stacked on top of each other. That means I have to set a rotation to vertical, right? And then now I will add my MD toolbar, toolbar class. And we saw that the MD toolbar class has the title property, the anchor title. 
left action items and right action items. Of course, these are not all the properties specific to the toolbar, but for our project, this is all we need. First thing, I will set the title. I call it KD. So, really poor at coming up with names, but don't mind me. Um, I will set the anchor title to center for start. And then for now, I will let the left action items and the right action items empty. Okay. And upon saving, we have the toolbar added onto our layout. Okay. But the real reason why the, the, the toolbar is situated at the bottom of the, of the, of the UI is basically because it's the only element, the UI, right? It's the only element in the box layout. And as we know, QV coordinates start at the bottom left. So if I want it anchored at the top, I will I'll just add another layout. So I'm going to add a box layout. And when I save that, we have the toolbar anchored at the top, all right? So what if I want the anchor title to the right? All I have to do is change the anchor title value to right. So, and we have the title to the right. But by default, the title is set to left, okay? Now, let's look at the left action items and the right action items. Well, the left action items and right action items, as I said, is a list of lists, and the nested lists are icons coupled with their callback functions. So let's see exactly what I mean by that, okay? So I'm going to add a new list. I'm going to add an icon, the main icon. And I'm going to couple it with its callback function. So for now, because I have no function defined, I will just say lambda x do nothing. Okay. And we have an, a menu icon added to the left. So the list is not restricted. You can add as much as you want. So if you want another icon, I will add dots vertical. And also set its callback function to none. And upon saving, you will see that we have a dots vertical icon on the left okay let's do that to the right action items where we will add magnify magnify and the set also lambda to x okay and just like that i've added a magnify icon to the right of the toolbar and you may be like hold up am i supposed to memorize all the icon names the answer is no you don't need to memorize any names. So all you need is a link to the material design website. All right. The link is in the video description below. Most of them are free, few of them are not. So all you need to do is hover your mouse over the icon of your choice. Okay. And you'll see the name of the icon. Copy the name of your icon into your .py or the .kv file and you'll be good to go. So what if you want a toolbar fixed at the bottom of your layout? How do you do that? So to do that, you would have to nest your tool, your MD toolbar class inside an MD bottom upper class and set the type to bottom for that to work. Okay. So let me show you exactly what I mean. So I'll just come and define an MD bottom upper class. Right. And in here, I will have all I will have the, the MD toolbar nested inside. So I'll press shift, I'll press down to have it nested inside the MD bottom upper class. And once I save that, you will see that um, we have something funny going on, right? So we'll see that despite the fact that the MD bottom upper class comes before the MD box layout class, right? We have the MD, I mean, we, yes, we have the, we have the, toolbar anchored at the bottom of our UI. So you have to set the type property to bottom for this to work. Okay. And once I save this, you will see that the icon pattern, you'll see that this icon pattern is, um, is integrated perfectly inside the toolbar. This may or may not be what you want. Okay. So, but for now, uh, so I will, I will comment out the title and the left action items property. Okay, for illustration purposes. 
and, one, and once I save that, we only have a magnify icon to the right and we have an icon button at the center. So what if you want the icon button to the right? You would say, I would say, the, I would say mode, I will say free, say, I will say end, and we have it to the right, okay? What if I want it to the right, or at the end, to the right, but I want it detached from the toolbar? So I will say, I will set the mode to free end, okay? What if I want it at the center and detached from the toolbar? I will set the value of the mode to free center. And once I save that, we have the icon button to the center, at the center, and detached from, from the toolbar. So the default is center. So we have the icon button integrated inside the toolbar at the center. So the icon property is used to add an icon to the icon button. So I'll set it to language Python, why not? Don't pressure yourself trying to memorize all these names. I'm just used to them, so it's easy for me to remember. Anytime you feel you're not really sure what the name of the icon is, just check it in the material icon in the material design website. Okay. Once I save that, we have the icon changed to uh, to the Python logo nested inside the empty bottom upper class. The own action button button. So the on action button property binds a callback function to the on release event that the icon button releases for. So I will set this to root dot change. So let's just say root dot change icon. All right. I will save that. But um, once I press, once I press and release, we're going to get an error because we have not defined the change icon function. Or the, or the change action method attribute okay yeah so we have an so we are told that attribute error the entry point object has no attribute change icon so to fix that i'll just define all you need to do is define a change action a change sorry a change icon method attribute it's obligatory to have the first um argument set to self. So now I'll just say print walking. Right. So let's try this again. And no errors. But just printing walking is boring, right? So what I'm going to do is um let me just say pass and then um I will create uh, a list of icons. So I'll say list icon list icons Let's just create a couple of icons. So let's have language, language Python itself. We have, um, let's have a language C++, I'm not really sure, C++, CPP. Uh, let's have language Ruby and finally let's have language language Java all right so I have defined a list of icons and I want that each and every time I click on the on, on the icon button the value changes I mean the icon changes okay for that to work you'll have to pass the MD toolbar instance to the change icon method attribute so I'll just pass self so self represents the md toolbar once we switch to the .py file you don't pass self you don't pass self <laughs> as the instance of the md toolbar instance but you just pass an argument so I'll just say instance for now I will say so I will just say Adam why not and um, if I print Adam Let's just print other and see what we're getting. All right. So I'll just so we are getting an MD toolbar object. Okay. You can see we are getting an MD toolbar object, and that is the address. The MD toolbar class inside the MD bottom upper class 
has the icon property so let's see the, what is the what is the icon if i press you'll see we have the we have the name of the icon returned to us that is language python by doing that we can easily change the value of the the icon button inside the md toolbar which is also inside the md bottom upper class right so let's do that so i'll just say other which represents the md toolbar class right dot icon is equals to a value so for example for status let's just say self okay, self dot list icons because it's a list and get the last icon in the list so once i save that and i click the icon of the icon button has changed to language java let's just go a little, a little bit further so we import random and then i will say the value of the other dot icon is a random dot choice right so what is the sequence self dot list icons should just give me a random value from the list icons and once i press that you will see that the value i mean the icon of the icon button changes every time we click and release okay so normally under such circumstances we would have the toolbar push to the top okay so that the box layout can occupy the remaining space but that is not the case now let's focus on the toolbar implementation that is specific to our project so for our project we want a title and two icons to the right so let's do exactly that we need the title by default we'll have the title to the left so I'll just remove the anchor title property also and let me save that so we have our kv what's up title to the left and we have only one icon to the right i will define the another icon that we need that is the dots vertical so just say dots vertical and from now i want you to do nothing each and every time i click you i want you to do nothing so i'll save that and yes we have a title to the left and two icons to the right in the next episode we are going to learn how to dynamically add a search bar and a drop down menu each and every other time a user clicks on the search icon or the drop down menu right so until then happy coding